Welcome back to Zendesk from Home. I'm Molly Vandeslund. Today we're going to be talking about best practices for building your custom ticket forms. Everyone knows that a little bit of planning goes a long way towards a successful workflow. We're going to split this into three main chunks, planning, building, and testing. So let's get started. When thinking about planning out your custom ticket forms, here are some things to consider. How many different processes are you managing in Zendesk right now? And is there any overlap between processes or departments? Consider the end user experience. How many different ticket forms do you want them to choose from? Our best practice recommendation is to keep this less than five. Similarly, what about the agent experience? How many forms do they need? And do you have use cases for internal only forms such as HR, IT? Next, let's talk about building. It's always a best practice recommendation to put pen to paper and map it out. Create a rough draft of your forms. This is gonna make it really easy for you to identify any duplicate fields, as well as reassess existing fields. Maybe some fields are no longer needed or the wording needs tweaked. Keep it simple. Only add ticket fields to the forms that you know you need and want to report on. And if your plan allows for it, consider conditionality. Using conditional ticket fields, you can create if-then workflows that are intuitive for your agents and your end users. Lastly, test it out. Testing is a crucial part of any new workflow. Here, you'll, make you'll wanna make sure to check your required fields. Make sure those settings are correct. If you need a field filled out before a ticket submitted, make it required. Check the ordering of your forms. Does it make sense and does it look the way you want it to? If you have forms restricted by user or organization, make sure that those permissions are set and acting the way that you want them to. And check the field order. If the ticket fields aren't in a logical order, they may be confusing for your end users or agents to fill out. Lastly, make sure there's nothing missing that's critical to your processes. A good best practice recommendation here is to bring in someone new to the process, someone who wasn't involved in the planning and building. They'll bring a fresh set of eyes and will let you know if anything seems odd. And that's it. With following those three steps, you'll build out ticket forms that make sense for you and your team. Check out the link at the end of this video for more information, and we'll see you next time on Zendesk from Home.